very much, Jeremy. And Josh, the fifth best game in program history here. Uh, what was the key to the success tonight? Uh, well, I think uh, we did a great job protecting up front. Uh, number one, you got to give those guys uh, some praise. The big, the big guys up front did a fine job. And, uh, receivers and backs and tight ends did a great job making plays. We found a lot of different receivers this evening. Uh, how important is it for those guys to all get the ball a little bit? Uh, it's important for us. I think we've, we've done a pretty good job this season of, of spreading the ball around. That's something that's been uh, key for us on offense this season so far. I know you're a great team player. How much did you enjoy seeing uh, Blake Hamblin and Michael Cochran at least get in the game here in the fourth quarter? Oh, it's great. And I told him I wish we could have got them uh, in some games earlier in the season. But it was nice to see those guys go out and uh, make some good checks. And Blake made a great throw down the sideline there. After the, the losing streak the team is in, this win obviously will feel good. How much do you celebrate this before you start looking at Abilene Christian now? Uh, well, I think you celebrate it tonight and you come back tomorrow and you start getting ready for uh, the next opponent. I mean, whether you win or lose, that's kind of how you treat every game you play. All right, congratulations, Josh. Here with Angelo State head coach Dale Carr after the Rams uh, defeat Incarnate Word. Uh, coach uh, snapped the losing streak, and, and really the team played well tonight. Uh, how, how good does it feel? Well, it feels nice. It feels nice to be able to be somewhat relaxed, uh, you know, in the fourth quarter and it not be a touch-and-go game. And so uh, I was happy to see our guys have success. We've, we're really not that bad of a team, even though we're only three and four. Uh, we've had several guys playing at a high level, and I think tonight against a lesser opponent it showed. You were able to, uh, to get some guys some touches at running back and really uh, see some success. Michael Connor stepping in, doing a good job. Uh, Carter had some good carries, as, as well as Baker and Gardner. Talk about the running game a little bit. I was really happy, you know, with that, that aspect of it. Uh, Michael, uh, he's a big back. I think uh, he's got a bright future here. He, he's been coming on as a season, and this is the first time, unfortunately, this is the first time we really got to get him in the game a lot. But I think he'll have some more game time in the future, the next two or three weeks. Okay, Josh, pretty impressive, uh, as was uh, Blake Hamlin coming off the bench with that big throw. I, I think the team was four yards short of uh, tying the school record. Uh, just talk about the quarterbacks. Well, I was happy with all of them, and I think, number one, you got to give credit to the O-line. The protection was there all night. Uh, receivers running nice, clean routes where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there, and Josh going through his progression. And so, uh, here again, like I said, we've, we've been playing at a, a, a fairly high level, meaning not a bunch of errors, that type of stuff. Um, and it hasn't always turned into wins, but I'm not that surprised that, that we ended up winning by that margin. Okay, two more picks for the defense and then a, a punt return for a touchdown. Um, can you ask for any more from those uh, two phases of the game tonight? No, our special teams has continued. You know, there's only one game this year we hadn't won the special teams battle, and that was against Midwestern. And uh, I thought our secondary is doing a nice job of being opportunistic. They're playing the coverage call. They're playing like it's supposed to be played, and they're in position to make plays, and then they're making plays. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you.